Hey guys, TerraStructor55 here, and welcome to the final review that I have planned for Winter 2018. And that is on none other than the brand new Bachmann Spiteful Brake Van. Now I am really, really excited to review this product, as I just got it a few days ago. And um, I mean just, wow, is all I can really say at first when looking at this model. Um, but as usual, I will start with a brief bio of the character, and then digress into the Bachmann model itself. So, the Spiteful Brake Van is a troublesome brake van who disliked Douglas in particular. And as we all know, in the episode Brake Van, also known as Donald and Douglas, Donald basically stood up for his brother and bumped him in the shunting yard. And then later in the episode, Douglas helps James when James has to pull a goods train and Spiteful Brake Van is, of course, part of the train and destroys him into bits. And quite frankly, um, as a kid, I remember looking at that and thinking, what the hell, honestly? Because, I mean, that's really the first time we have seen a specific character in the Thomas range, like, die, literally. I mean, I remember seeing, like, you know, the breakdown train pick the Spiteful Brake Van up. And just seeing him with the black eye, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about, like, if you've seen the episode. But, I mean, wow. I mean, that is, I'm just impressed with uh, David Mitten and his crew, you know, just for, you know, you, you know, I, I, I just have no words for that, honestly. But, uh, but anyhow, um, now for the design. So, in the Railway series, he's based off an LNER 20-ton brake van. Whereas in the TV series, he's based off a standard BR-20 ton brake van, as shown here in the Bachman model. Also in the TV series, he was introduced in Season 2 in the episode Brake Van, as I said, uh, if you live in the UK, and Donald Douglas if you live in America. And other than the episode Brake Van, he really wasn't seen again. Some claim that um, the China clay truck that was seen in the episode Percy's Predicament included an angry face that was meant to be shown in the episode Break Fan, but it just never was, for whatever reason. <clears throat> I'm not really sure if that's true, but hey, it's, it could be. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get right into the Bachman model now, shall we? So, I mean, wow, just, when looking at this model, there's there's a lot to be said. I mean, let's just start, you know, let's go right into the face. I mean, just look at that. It could not get any more accurate than that. I mean, especially from that angle, yeah. You can't. I'm essential. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just amazed that Bachman, for one, announced this, you know, in 2017, you know, uh, as a large-scale product, and then in 2018 as an angel product, just simply because... This is a product that was, a character, I mean, that was only seen in one episode. And the fact that they went with this face, you know, just speaks to how how dedicated they are to, to pleasing us Thomas fans. I mean, thank you so much, Bachman Industries, if you're watching this review. I mean, it is just an honor to have this. And I mean that. Now, what I really love about this model, I mean, actually, at first I didn't love this, but after getting the product, I actually do like this. The fact that it has the NW and 13 and 20 tons. I mean, at first, I, I actually wasn't a fan because I just wanted to have a, a very accurate TV series Spiteful Brake Man that was just, you know, one uh, plain color. It was like a brown gray in the TV series. Um... And, but Bachman did end up going with this hybrid railway series, TV series design, which, I, you know, it's actually really grown on me. And quite frankly, I'm probably going to keep the brake van like this. Um, yeah, I mean, the color too. I mean, at first I wasn't a fan because it almost had like a greenish tinge to it, green, grayish, greenish tinge. But, I mean, I actually really like it now. The silver buffers are a nice touch as well. And I mean, it just, the, it's just amazing to, to see, as I said before, Bachman announced, you know, a, a, a 
product that is, you know, only seen in one episode. Um, but yeah, take a good look at that face. Sorry if my hand is blocking the light, but you can still see. But yeah. Um, you know, I really hope in 2019 they'll announce Troublesome Truck number 6. And, you know, make a face just as accurate as this. You know, I'm... I'm if it's a tanker, you know, one of the ones seen in Toad Stands By. And if it's a, a van, you know, maybe an angry face or a surprise face, that would be nice. Um, but there you have it. I mean, I don't really know what else to say other than the fact that this is an amazing product. And if you, if you collect Bachman or Hornbee, you have to get this because, well, you don't have to, of course. But, like, I highly recommend that you get this because it is a stunning, stunning model. Quality. Quality is the word that comes to mind first when I see this. But yeah, I know I just keep spinning it around, but I mean, there you have it. That's the spiteful brake van. And I give it a 10 out of 10 without a doubt. The face is obviously the most important part, and they nailed that. And just the, the, the NW and all the details, I mean, just, it is fantastic to see Bachman put in this much detail. So... Uh, that's me, Terrence Tractor 525, and here's a few shots of Douglas running around my layout with the Spiteful Brake Van, and also a few of the circus fans that I owned. Um, so that's me, signing out. See you guys later.